All right, hey guys, I'm in the Megan RS and I'm just gonna get started with the specs first because I think later when I start driving, I will just freeze, okay? So this is the Megan RS, we're in the latest Megan RS and this car has so much history. When I just say Megan, it was like, what, what, what? You would think of Megan instead of Megan. Like, you know, Megan Fox. No, you think of Megan RS instead of Megan Fox. Yeah. This is how rich the Megan RS is. It's definitely known for being a driver's car, for its handling, for its power. Speaking of power, this car has 280 PS with 319 Newton meters of torque. There's a lot for a spunky car like this. I'm currently driving the manual. Yes, six speed manual variant of course it comes with auto as well so the manual variant is about 279,000 whereby the automatic is 299,000 sports cars being sports cars the manual one is usually the more expensive one as compared to the auto because in Malaysia there are not many manuals around and if you can find a manual it's like oh my god there's a manual but I I heads off to Renault you know because Renault is like nope manual should always be cheaper than automatic and I love that about them and yeah so 6 speed manual is about 20k um, 20k less than the automatic okay so I'm just gonna drive around in this compound just to let you guys have a look and feel of how the uh, manual actually feels like Oof. okay Disclaimer, I'm very stressed with driving manual. Very, very stressed. Like, my hands are already clammy because I don't drive a manual on a day to day basis. And uh, it's always the hills. Like, every time I see hills, I was like, oh my god, this fucking hill, man. But yes, I'm gonna do my best. And just now, I did it. I drove here. So, just gonna drive around. Okay, so the clutch, clutch in, first gear. Okay, so I'm just gonna release the clutch really slowly to see where's the biting point. Okay, so here's the biting point. So the biting point, I would say, like this is my 100%. Whoa, okay. So the clutch travel, this is the clutch travel. The biting point is actually around 60 to 70%. Whereas other manual cars, the biting point actually bites at a pretty fast percentage, about what, 30, 40? But this one is about 60, 70. So I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Oh, about 60, 70. Oh. And I'm going. Having two, 390 Newton meters of torque. It's definitely very torquish. I tried accelerating just now, but I, I, my body just ate my seat. So I'm just gonna try around here. See, like when the car gets going, I'm fine. I'm completely okay. But this car definitely has character. I mean, you really need to take some time to learn about the car. Okay, I'm going on real roads already because I'm very stressed. You really need to take some time to get to know the car before jumping into the car and driving it around. So just now. See how jerky like I still can't get the biting point precisely. And because it's The trees look damn fast actually. Okay, so I cannot do the downshift blim kind of thing, okay? But man, it holds so well. Very composed, I like. But having this composure, it can still. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Okay, so there's this thing that's like. I'm gonna fall for you. There's this. Um, well, I'll heal damn fast, right? I don't want to heal. I don't want to hear. Okay, I'll do my best to just like slowly glide through. Just glide. And just like, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So I slowly glide through. Yeah. And I'm, I'm at the next traffic light when I don't have you anymore. So yeah, 
the brakes are actually not very jerkish like I know performance cars the brakes bite super fast but not for these ones and I actually like it a lot okay I'm on stationary I'm turning I'm going very 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 slow because there's a bike and I'm very scared to hit the bike but yeah so planted oh my god okay I might have cut off like sometimes I they think out my sentences because I'm just focusing so much on driving but yeah there's the blimp there there's a light where it tells you to upshift and downshift which is good for me like people like me which is like I don't know when to upshift and downshifting is also something else because I know when you downshift when you're going at a high speed you're supposed to ref match and, I, and you're supposed to blimp and I just can't do that I can try you guys will laugh I'm pretty sure so I, I know I just can't do that but I like how quiet it is at the same time you can still hear the exhaust that is just the correct amount of sound of the car that I like to hear and the brakes as I was saying it doesn't bite as fast as other performance brakes okay fuck I put in your job like now I'm going at 36 I'm just go back to the third gear and just slowly let go Hey, I didn't drink! That's great! That's great! I'm proud of myself! You go girl! I'm so proud of myself! I really don't drive manual on a daily basis and you can tell my palms are just sweating but I'm so happy that right now, till this time, I have a multi engine. Yeah, I'm just gonna go right. Please don't stop on hill. Please don't stop on hill. Please! Oh, oh, got police. If I stop on hill, I'll be like, yeah, very stressed, the police. So I'm just not gonna stop. I'm done mumbling. So yes, as I was saying, the brakes not as bitey, which are good. It's very progressive. I like that. It's progressively bitey. That's very nice. I like that very much. Okay, so for the clutch, right? I understand last time like Bobby was telling me about the previous Megan because he drove the previous Megan, but I didn't drive the previous Megan. So he was saying that the clutch travel is very short So people tend to mati engine very easily But for this one, even someone like me When I first drove it, I didn't mati engine immediately So I was like, okay what? Can? So yes, right now I'm just slowly going ah, I'm getting the hang of it See, when I say this, I'll confirm soon ah, I'll just mati engine right? But engaging the gears if I compare it to the Mini that I drove, this is so easy to engage, okay? The Mini that I drove, god, that one was so difficult, like I had to Kung Fu freaking hit the thing to the left and move the thing down, man, to change, to engage gears, but this one is not. This one is good. This one is easy. Like, easy. Yeah. It's easy. It's... But of course, this car definitely has character. I mean, you really know, you really need to know the biting point of clutch because the clutch is actually damn high leh. see ya see ya the clutch is damn high when I push it down uh, wow, really there's like a lot of travel so even for Con now Con is a daily manual driver so he was like he was also telling me that it took him a bit of time to get used to this clutch and where it bites so yeah so far so far, so good. My experience with the Mano Megan RS and uh, just now I could tell when I was driving, it feels composed, it feels planted. But at the same time, it gives you the whole oh, damn fun to drive. And you can actually feel like, wow, oh, it, it goes. Like, I can tell like the trees are just moving at a fast pace. And you know like that's when you're going fast, right? So yeah, nice, nice. You can tell I'm going very slow because I don't want Mati engine on camera. Look at the top, man. Why did I come here? Should I have just paid though? Because in front got hill. I'm like, quite sure I'll die there. You're gonna be good, Bing! Don't so negative! Okay, so I'm currently at a traffic light. Yeah, I'm Mati engine. Oh? What just happened? Did it just start for me? Or did I? We are very confused. Does it start for me? 
how if it starts for me, man? If it starts for me, ah, uh, wow, kudos, eh. Kudos, but I don't think it started for me, lah. I really don't know. Maybe I managed to catch in time so the engine didn't mati. So yeah, I cannot tell myself that I'm doing a good job, ah, uh, because I'm like, eh, I think I'm okay, and then I'll just like mati. So yeah. So far, I'm good. Visibility, um, I'm currently seated lower. Uh, well, of course, I can push my chair up, but I'm currently seated a bit lower to have a spotty feel of the car. But the back is good. Of course, if you put passengers, you cannot see anything because it's a very small rear view. Windshield, the windshield, the rear view, the real windshield is just very small. And uh, if you put passengers there, it will just block the visibility. So better you just drive this car alone. I would drive this car alone because. So yeah, it's it's a nice car to drive lah. I mean, I guess that's where um, characteristic and when people talk about the car having so, I guess it's from the from the manual ages because every manual is so different. Whereas auto, yeah, it's easy lah. We we can all admit auto cars, auto transmission cars are just easy. But for manual cars, you need to know the biting point. You need to know the travel of the clutch. You need to know how to kung fu this thing in, which. Mini was so hard, but this is thank you so much, so easy, and uh, it's quite easy to shift also. Okay, I got the car rolling. Okay, I'm going to I'm doing okay. I just don't want hill. I see in front got like traffic jam. Traffic jam. I just stress. Like I, I stress. But so far everything's going good. So yes, I actually like how the indicator sound like. Yeah. Very nice. Ah, uh. right, let's go. Here. Very easy to shift eh? It's yeah, I mean for a performance car, I thought it wouldn't be so friendly to me. And uh, I think after getting used to the car, right, and really getting to know more about the car, it's 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 good. Fairly easy to drive. Aggressive driving, please head on to Bobby's channel or Con's channel because you will find it in this channel. I do maybe aggressive overtaking a bit because last time I used to drive Viva, but yeah. Okay, 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 I'm on six gear, guys. Woo, I meet the max. Okay, I'm good, we're good, I'm good, we're good. Suspension. That's what I wanted to say before my mind just continued flying everywhere. I was supposed to downshift. I scared you threw the car out. Off. Okay, I got this. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so the suspension. I love the suspension because. 
know how some suspensions it will you'll bounce a little but this one it's not so stiff because again this is a performance car it's the Megan RS so I expected like stiff everything is stiff and you go ta -ta 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 -ta. but no this car although I'm in race mode right now but this car when it goes over a bump it just goes over and then it's like okay I'm done stays okay I'm done stays that's how the suspension feels like I would want this suspension on my Miata man it, I, I, I don't know how they did it but it's so good really I'm, it's good like I go over and it stays I don't jump around because it's so stiff I don't float around because it's so boaty but it's perfect I've never said that before but I really think that this suspension is perfect but again this car deserves a much better owner a much better sorry a much better driver now okay someone who can down who can blimp who can rev match all that okay guys i'm good all right so this car i think if it's really for a car like from what i understand from megan rs right now megan rs and what i know this type of car is really for sorry this type of car is really for those drivers that for manual at least that really know how to upshift and downshift and switch gear fastly and blimp and rev match so if you have that skill and you drive this car definitely i think you will enjoy it me such an amateur i'm already like wow this car's so fun wow cool wow cool yeah so if for me i'm already like that i think for professionals right and i sit in the passenger seat also please please yeah i think it'll be good but having my short time with this car yeah it's 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 something different lah i don't get many manual test cars so yeah nice <laughs>